he will, uh, Dimago will be able to pull himself back into this game. But right now, this army of Nama is just looking so terrifying. Um, has plus one attack on the Marines, is getting plus two. Uh, and uh, plus one uh, mechanical attack. Oh no, Dimaga coming in, doing a lot of damage, coming around to the side with the roaches. He just might be able to take this out. There seems to be enough roaches and those Marines are going down. And pretty soon he does pick up the Thor to save it, but everything here from Nama does get killed. Really excellent flank there by Dimaga. On the other hand, drop over on the right by Nama during that, killed off or maybe just forced to cancel uh, that base on the side. So a little bit of a trade there. Um, Dimaga is looking in a lot better shape than he was a couple minutes ago. Uh, where did that medevac go? It, there is going to be a drop over here in the main, and Dimaga does not have a lot of units nearby to deal with this. Okay, there are some Zerglings coming in, and this will be enough to clean this up, but um, yeah, Nama does pick up and run over here just to be annoying. And oh, well, okay, well, sacrifices a couple of Marines. Oh, <laughs> gonna try to get this Overlord. That's kind of cute. This Marine's dead, though. Uh, yeah, Nama, okay, just now getting his third command center. <clears throat> That's the thing. The, the price of all of this intense aggression early on is that you, uh, you can't expand as early. Uh, well, okay, creep is spread up here. So he will need a scan to eliminate these before he can even expand here, uh, which is where I would expect him to be expanding. He does have a pretty sizable army macro to back up. Um, is still a little bit behind in supply, but this is a very close game. Dimaga at 126, and... Um, his opponent, Nama, at, um, well, I already forgot what, 110 something. Uh, plus two, plus two, melee, and uh, Carapace coming for the Zerg player, Dumaga. Mutalisks pick off a dropship, and that's nice. Sorry, they're not dropships. They're not called dropships. There's no, there's no unit called the dropship in StarCraft. What are you talking about? All right, so Mausmana. Uh, dropping some marines and marauders off at the Zelmaga Tower. They are going to see what's up over here. And this is a nice little push to do. Um, you can often take out a hatchery with something like this. If Zerg does not have good vision, of course, this creep tumor right here is going to see absolutely everything. So Dimaga will be prepared for this. In the meantime, completely ready any second as soon as this creep recedes back to drop and put down a planetary fortress right here. And uh, yeah... Yeah, Nama being chased away. Meantime, Timaga expanding to the center. So, Timaga solidly back in this game at this point, I would say. And uh, looking pretty even. Okay, these middleists, oh, engaging a little bit too much. Going to lose several. Uh, and uh, any transitions for Timaga? No infestation pit, no hive. Uh, he's getting plus two ranged attack for his roaches. So, I... It's kind of cool. I haven't seen that much. Uh, really just upgrading everything. Really committing to this ground army. Uh, I, I personally, when I have a composition like this, I don't upgrade missile attack. Because uh, I just like to spend that gas on other stuff. But definitely think it is a neat idea. Dimaga always has these cool little stylistic elements to his play that you don't see in a lot of other players' games. Okay, oh, Dimaga is getting ready to try to move in for the kill here. Oh my god, lots of Banelings rolling in, but the Marines successfully pull back, and all the Banelings hit siege tanks, which is not what Dimaga wanted. And right now, uh, it's a little hard to say who's going to win, but I think Dimaga is going to get pushed back here, taking a lot of shots from siege tanks. Doesn't end up losing too much, but wow, the cost of those Banelings was so high, and they t just ran single file into siege tanks and that's just you you cannot do that very many times as zerg he's morphing a lot more banelings back here right now money getting kind of high uh, might be missing some larva injects let's see 33 energy in this queen 143 energy in this queen yeah so dimaga probably a little distracted around the time his base was getting killed by tons of units um pretty good position here these mutalisks are just kind of chilling out Just uh, gathering some information there. And, okay, I'm going to move up here and even Stims because I think he probably guessed there was a base over here. Um, no such thing. Although, wait, was there one and he canceled? Okay, never mind. I, it's, it's, I wish I could look back in time. It would be so useful as a caster. I'm so sad I can't do that. Okay, got to move a tank up to this cliff, which is cool. Reminds me of those great old days on Kulas Ravine. You guys remember Kulas Ravine, right? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, fourth command center coming along for Nama. It looks like he's going to do what he did right at the beginning of the game, which is set up right here. And this is even more scary for Zerg, because all of his forces are in between two of his bases, and he gets that hatchery with ease. No! Okay, yes. Uh, and he's driven back. But these marines in a pretty good position behind the tanks. Um, but, oh no, there's just so many roaches for Dimaga. That stim wears off for Nama. And Dimaga is just going to roll over this. Oh my god, that's this has been a, an amazing comeback game, folks. Because I just thought Dimaga was definitely out of it. But he just smashes through the front there. And it's a GG from Nama. Great play by both of those players. And I'm, I'm definitely impressed Dimaga managed to pull through there. Uh, despite constant pressure. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, cool. <laughs> I've got to check out more games by Nama because I'm I'm liking what I see. You know, he's he's got some got some nice uh, nice play, nice style, good good aggression. I, I I think he should have taken his third earlier. That's my only my only gripe with with his game. But you know, solid solid. Besides, <sighs> well, um, do uh, continue to tune in, of course, and. Uh, uh, check out the um, Platinum Gold King of the Hill tournament uh, from SE Reddit when that is coming up. And uh, this is Moduli Stack saying uh, take care now and uh, bye.